That other hybrid we were looking at was a 104-day hybrid. This 110-day hybrid has the same female, just a different male, has the same problems. It's actually a little shorter uh, than that other hybrid was. Uh, but the, all the same principles apply that we talked a little there. We've got a couple up here that I think are even more interesting than this kind. Uh, On this hybrid, a couple things about it. Please note there's spindly little no-count stocks on it, right? <laughs> spindly little no-count ears on it, right? People just can't believe you can get those kind of ears on those kind of plants. A few weeks ago, right after it pollinated, uh, we had a co-op manager here from a co-op in Central Iowa. <clears throat> and he knew you couldn't get big ears off of this kind of plant. So he said, can I go in the middle and pick an ear out of there? Sure, this is demo. We aren't going to do your house. So he goes in there, picks an ear out, came up here, and it just blistered because it just pollinated. Very carefully pulls the shucks back, silks off, counted. 16 around and 48 long. Oh. <laughs> he said, that's 300 bushel of corn. Somebody else in the group said, oh, we want to take that. It was a cob, actually, just blistered on it. No, no, no. He kept it with him because I know he was going to show that to people to say, you cannot believe the kind of ears you can get off of little teeny things. But this hybrid has the same problem uh, <coughs> that the other does in terms of when the ears turn down, the only way to harvest them is with the draper. And it's, it's very deceptive. Uh, <coughs> you see, this hybrid is really coming up to here on me. And if we look at this one right over here by the yellow flag, <coughs> and you're going to tell me this one by the yellow flag just look taller than that one, right? Uh, see, there's not much difference, but the ear height over here is way up from that one. So this one will lend itself to normal corn head. That one won't. I don't know who's going to win this battle. I don't care. We just go on the yield data. So whichever one wins, uh, so be it. Action, my seed. Stock strength would be excellent something like that, too. Yes, and I hate to tell you this, too, but stock strength is somewhat independent of height. We can have hybrids at this height that lodge pretty badly. Uh, so it helps because obviously the, the ears aren't up where it's going to catch the wind so much. But you still, we still have to be careful. We've got hybrids of this height we've thrown away because the stock strength was not satisfactory. We're always battling. Tall corn is bad. Big ears are bad. Ears filled to the tip are bad. Stay green is bad. Extra strong roots are bad. Extra strong stocks are bad. Wait a minute, all this stuff that we thought was good is bad? what we think. Remember I said extra strong roots and stocks. You've got to have satisfactory roots and stocks. Um, but stay green in particular. Think about that. And you don't have to be real smart. Otherwise, I couldn't figure it out. Uh, do you want to put the goodie in the ear, or do you want to put it in the stocks and leaves and have it green after you harvest the corn? Duh. Um, so we're always on the edge on stock and root strength. The we constantly throw away our highest yielding hybrids because the roots or stocks are not satisfactory. Uh, and, and at first I'm thinking, wait a minute, this doesn't make sense. The weaker root ones have the higher yield. I think it'd be the other way around. It's the better the root system, but it's the same principle. Do you want to take the nutrients and make more stocks and tassels? Our tassels tend to be small relative to other tassels. And roots, or do you want to make green? And we're always balancing that because we obviously have to have satisfactory standability on our roots and stocks for harvest and handling. So people get a little upset when they have flat corn. If it's all flat, you kind of get along with it. If, if the neighbor's going to stand in and yours is flat, it's mm, kind of you're real happy. <laughs> 